Oh. Okay, I may have not even hit this. Let me try. So, this is my swag off-road stamp. And what I've done is drilled two holes. I'm in the process of right now installing screws to hold the box. I drilled my stand on purpose. So, like, this is the feet of the stand, and this fits inside. So that way, when the stand's assembled, this box will be to the outside of the stand. And that's where the switch and everything will be assembled to. So that's what we're working on today. So that's what we're doing. At this time, I'm putting the legs on. So per the instructions which I've looked at. I mean, this is a fairly simple thing to put together. There's just not a lot to, to do. But, you know, it's more or less lay it up in there and stick the bolts in it. So, And again, that's kind of the reason I wanted to buy this unit instead of making something. Uh, the, the, the reviews on these units, they're just well built. And for me, I'm just, what I'm doing is just kind of getting this stuff into place here. And uh, I'm going to go find the wrenches I need to do this. So I'll be right back. So I just kind of tacked it up. The reason I installed this box first. Because that allowed me to place the box kind of where I wanted it. And you'll see when I turn the stand over here in a minute. that I'm going to have the box placed basically to the front of the stand. Done a little forethought. And this will allow me to have my controls for the power right up here on the front. I just didn't want a foot switch. I mean, I wanted just to flip the switch. Turn it on. I want to make this more like a miniature band stall. So for me, it was just a better option. So that's why I laid it out just like that. See, I got the had some screws here. And when we do the electrical work, which I'm gonna go ahead and do electrical work before I put the saw on, I just wanted to get the legs on. And verify it. I don't have to swap the legs from side to side or anything like that. Make sure I had that in the right orientation before I go on to. Because I want to go ahead and just put the box on it, get that one done first. Before I installed, excuse me, I installed the saw on the porter band tape. From what all I understand, there's some manipulations that have to be done with these saws compared to using a Dewalt or a Milwaukee or something of that nature. But, but again, I will explain something or my philosophy on tools. My stand prep. We'll see how this works. If it moves around once I start using this. Then I can go ahead and, and and fix me some, and I still might do this, fix me some holes where I can just put a, a maybe some sort of an insert in the table and just bolt it to it. We'll see how it is once we put the saw on it and start trying to use it. Okay, let's get this wire. This is a fairly simple wiring job. It's all ready to go in. I've done checked it off camera so everything works like it's supposed to, so... We'll go ahead and we'll bolt it up. Okay, well that's finished. I'm gonna get some wire ties and tie that. But that's the finished product right there. That's the saw. And everything right there. Now what I think what let's just grab us up.
cut you off. So that's just a piece I had laying right here on the bench. That's the blade that come in the saw from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna wire tie this a little bit to make this a little neater. I'll probably put the, the loop through the swag deal here. But you see, I wanted my box here. So now I've got a, a basically a little portable bandsaw. Let me let me turn you around. Give you a front view here, pull my jack handle down. See, I wanted something that I could bench. So this is my thought. So this is why I wanted to do this. And I originally thought about this putting a switch on the on my on my table. And the truth of it is, I don't think I'm ever going to take this thing off this table. But if I do, I can't. And I still have the plug. So I do have the option of taking it the taking the unit completely back off the table and using it. So I, I'm well pleased. I've got a basically, I'll tell the story here. Let me put the camera back, or kind of, I might just aim it go back over here towards me. Okay. Uh, I basically picked the, uh, I picked the saw up like, uh, last Friday from Harbor Freight. They had them on sale. I paid $99 for my. This is the newer saw, not the Harbor Freight, the new model, the new name they put on them. And obviously the the stand with the powder coated top and all was $149 instead of painting it. So I got the powder coated top. So basically I have $250 in a portable man saw and everything's brand new. Again, I'm going to be honest with you. Is that the saw that a Milwaukee is or, Nick, or DeWalt? Probably not. But, I'm a hobbyist. I might use this saw once every month or maybe once every two weeks or three for some weird stuff. This isn't going to be an everyday used item. Now, my philosophy at Harbor Freight is this. If it's something that I'm going to use occasionally and, and it's not a heavy use item, I will go ahead and use get the Harbor Freight item because it's less expensive. I mean, let's be realistic here. However, if you're going to use something every day and make a living at it, you don't. So today's video, uh, you see me kind of out the box. And uh, I'll kind of go back and uh, get the other camera in a minute and go handheld. Okay, I'm going handheld here while I can walk you around a little bit. This is, I finished the assembly. And this is, I'm going to do a couple little extra little neatening up things. But this is my, this is a saw. This is just a handy box that comes from Lowe's with a, with a flip switch and a duplex outlet. So all this, and, and the reason I wanted to put this on first is so I could lay all this out and drill these holes with drill press. Because swag does give you some good material. That's some pretty good stuff. And uh, so, you know, again, this is a Harbor Freight saw. And, be, and this is the new model, the Bayer. I've tried it, and it's, on some, it's going to be on some of the day's videos. So this is the overview. I'm going to wire tie this up a little bit. And more or less call it a day with this thing. This is done. Now most of the time it's going to reside over there in the corner. And then I can just pull it out set it here when I need a bandsaw. When I need it to do a project. That's the whole thing. There's been several projects where this would have come in handy. For what I need. To cut certain things at certain times. Is it as good as a do-all? Probably not. But there's a lot of guys on YouTube has got these things. And for my small shop, hey, this is going to work great for me. I'm really enthused about it. So I'm going to tie up a few loose ends to clean up and call it a day. So, again, thanks for viewing the video. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. And I'm normally a guy who does like to make things. But this is just one of them cases. I wanted this thing square and perfect. And for the money, you can't beat this stand. With, uh, and I made my own little custom tweak to it. So here we go. Hope you enjoy.